Hey, what's up, guys? It's DJ. New and updated mods have been released on the mod up for Farm Sim 22. In total, today we have 26 mods for all platforms, 16 new and 9 updates, and PC and Mac players have one update. And that's right, you guys see the F350 on there. In today's video, we'll show you all the new mods plus their customization, and we'll go over all the mods that got an update. And there's a bunch of maps that got updated today. Starting off today with the mod, I know you guys are ready to see. This is the Lizard F350. It is here, and it is out now for all platforms we have two different trucks in here and that crew cab you can actually put a long bed on the back of it so you can either use the normal or the short bodies on the crew cab however the f-350 regular is just going to use the normal body we've got a uh, pickup bed we've got two different setups of flatbeds plus we have a service body which holds 5,000 liters of fuel since the customization options are exactly the same i'm going to show you the crew cab because we have one extra customization option so let's talk about it 350 horsepower of course it has to have that manual transmission 220 liters of fuel and it goes 93 miles an hour it weighs 6.5 tons if that matters to you guys now we have interior backrests so we have the orange in there we have beige white brown and we have black we also have engine setups so we have the crew cab manual or the automatic so that's kind of nice however in the game both of them say manual so just a heads up there wheel brands we have michelin tires we also have michelin number two which you can see adds the bead lock around the outside and then we can go michelin three which gives us a nice big chonker michelin fours brings it down just a little bit fives bring it back up and then we also have a michelin dually in the back now we also have different rim setups that can go on those so you choose the type of tire that you like and then you could go in and choose the type of wheel that you like we've got all kinds in here uh so choose whatever it is that you want i think we're just going to go here with a straight up dually option first front grill we have a couple different setups we have the 08 uh, black and colorful and modified modified black modified colorful we also have a plastic raptor look we have a primary color we have a metallic secondary uh primary with a uh, plastic and then we've got everything through there probably the one to go for is i think at least primary uh raptor logo with the secondary accent i think that looks awesome go there interior coloring on here we've got black orange black and beige 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 number two brown which is also beige white and back to black again bumper we've even got colors for the bumper on the very front so you can go through and find one that fits your style the best i think let's go right there that looks great extensions we also have extensions that can go on those front uh, wheels right there and you can choose the exact same things that will go on the back as well whenever you're going through doing your thing there let's just go right there that looks works for me lighthouse i'm not sure why it says lighthouse but it's maybe the light housing you could choose through here what you like of course we got to go with those uh, feral raptor black mass cabin props you could do a big led bar on there a secondary led bar we could do a snorkel on the side and then we can add led bar number one with the snorkel latches stirrup and exhaust so we've got a couple different latches there we've got a couple different bits on the bottom and then we've got a different set of exhausts and you can change up whatever you like we've got a single off to the right or you've got dual setups just go with everything and be good to go glass and gutters so you've got all kinds of stuff through there uh, and then we have the channel that adds a little plastic piece on the outside of the window so if you are uh, wanting to put the window down just a little bit when it's raining, you could do that. I don't know. They're pretty popular here in the South. Uh, I could care less about them on my car, so we'll not put them on here. Brush breaker on the very front. You got a couple different setups here, including, yes, you just saw that, right? A three-point hitch. Why does it have a three-point? Because it can. Oh, and I love it. That's awesome. Let's keep going. Attachment. So we have the long chassis or the standard. We're going to throw that long chassis on there. Shaft width. This is kind of cool too. We can actually increase the width of the wheels themselves. I'm going all the way out. Beacon and stickers. We've got a beacon on the back. We've got a sticker down the side. We've got both or neither. Should we go with both? Yeah, let's, let's just 
go with neither. I think it's on this build. Main color. Right now we have jet black, but we have basically every single blue you can think of, minus uh, regular uh, DJ Gohan blue. We've even got Matsy purple on there, which is super cool, and ice. Yeah, we got that. And I think if you want to go chrome, I do believe we have chrome. Yeah. So you want a chromed out truck? Go for it. Uh, it could be just like Grand Theft Auto if you really want to. Go for it, man. Uh, we're going to go to, back to jet black. Design color. It starts off as brown, but you can make this kind of whatever you want and be good to go. We're just going to stick it on brown. I think it works great there. Sticker color. I don't have a sticker on here right now, but this would change the sticker color. And then we have different colors for the panels as well, but I don't have a panel color. So there is that too. And then lastly, rim colors. Rims are rims at the end of the day. So just put on here what you need to, and you are good to go. Now we get into the body setups. Now the short and regulars are going to be exactly the same. So let's just show off the regular versions here. Normal body on here. We have an extension. We have the extension setups for plastic. As I mentioned, exact same thing as before. Since we've got a dually, let's throw dually on there. Bumper. We've got all kinds of different color setups there. Uh, we're going to go with a secondary color bumper for this build. Roll cage. We do have many many different options for the roll cage and this is the one we're going for this build cap accessories we've got a couple different ones of those if you guys want to go with that for whatever reason stickers we do have a couple different sets of stickers and yes these do match up pretty darn well with uh real life setup so uh yeah go with uh, go with what you want through their range that's actually the sticker that matches the body so if you want to go with that go there we do have a couple different setups here for uh bed covers and or not bed covers but bits and bobs and then we've got two different fifth wheels plus we've got a hitch for the back as well main color again we're staying with jet black and brown and then you can change up your sticker color which again we don't have the sticker set up sticker color number two we don't have that one either and there you go that is that build done but we do have other things so this is going to be your normal flatbed number one we got a couple different setups for boxes we have the same attachment options through there and then we have main and design color Flatbed 2 is pretty much identical, except the main and design color are flip-flopped and where they go. We do have different trailer hitch and different fifth wheels there. And lastly, we have that service body bed. We've got a rear hitch and then your main and design colors. This is a pretty darn good looking truck right here. Pretty cool truck. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about it. I know you've been waiting for it. Brakes leave a little bit to be desired. That's uh, probably putting it lightly there, but I mean, that's as that a hoss if I've ever seen it. We've also got a couple different kind of fun stuff. We do have straps and we can open and close the back. And then we also have different setups for, I think it's aiming the lights. Yeah, there's your mirrors. And then we can either raise the back. So it kind of raises the back or we can raise the entire thing. It does go pretty quick, so be ready for that. And uh, yeah, and that is a very, very <laughs> raised up truck. Yay! Next new one for all platforms is gonna be the Raw Smash Storm 770. This bad boy right here, 520 horsepower, 850 liters of fuel, 16 mile per hour, and it will hold 12,300 liters in there. We also have a header to go along with it. We'll take a look at that in a moment. As far as your options go for wheels, it looks like we've got all the popular brands through there, and we could change up between standard and wide tires. And our header is nine meters at six miles per hour this does have support for the ic control uh, so if you guys have interactive support installed that will work for uh, everything also mouse control works perfectly fine for consoles next up we have the new holland t6 tier 4a this has 143 horsepower it's got the auto command transmission 175 liters of fuel 31 miles an hour and weighs 6.3 tons if that matters to you configurations we start off with a standard but we can go with the blue power fiat agri black and back to regular engine options 143 horsepower we also have 154 163 and back down wheel options i'm pretty sure we're just gonna have all of our standard stuff through here yeah all the standard stuff and we do have dual tires beacon lights left left and right extra working lights yes or no fenders we've got a couple different options for fenders on the rear that's nice attachments we do have a front weight which looks like it's gonna be about 70 700 kilograms yeah 
That's heavy. Or uh, three point, we've also got a weight holder. Front attachment for quickie, power, or nothing. Rim options for all of your colors to match up and a license plate next we have the jcb fast track icon pack from ross and mods this is the one that we were talking about on farm sim news and guess what it is out now for everybody so let's take a look 178 horsepower on the 4000 series variable transmission 390 liters of fuel at 37 miles an hour engine options give us 178 210 235 and back down again will brands guessing yep all the good stuff everything you would expect to see we've got it we've even got twin wheels on there which is great news beacon lights we got nothing you could go with a low led beacon a low white led beacon or a standard beacon we also have a light bar or strobe bar on the top or nothing led strobes we do have those trying to find exactly where they would put those oh those are on the sides right under the side lights that's pretty cool and do we get any on the back as well no, just around the front, but we do have LED strobes. That's cool. Markers, we do have yes or no, so you can remove those. Flags, oh yeah, do love being able to do the Union Jack on the front. That's pretty cool. We've also got a front loader from Quickie, power or nothing. Main color, all of the above, basically. You can do whatever you want. We'll go white there. Grid color, uh, you can change that up if you need to. Rim colors, of course, we know what those are for. And then we've got down. I'm going to lease that because I do want to take a look at the strobes. Just to see, look at that, that's cool. And they are a little bit different. So one's gonna be flashing about the same as the other, but not the other one, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Jumping back in, we also have an 8,000 series here as well. I'm assuming we're gonna see similar customization. So let's check it out. 306 horsepower, variable transmission, 600 liters of fuel, and it goes 43 miles per hour. That engine option, we can bump it up. We got 306 horsepower, but we go to 348 if you guys want to, and you do want to. Wheel options, all the good stuff through there, and we could change a few things up, but I don't think any dual tires are going to find their way on this big behemoth right here. Beacons, we have the exact same beacon setups, which is very cool. LED strobes can be found in the exact same place. Markers can be removed. Flags can be added to the front. Main colors are all exactly the same. Grid colors are going to be identical, and your rim colors are going to be, you guessed it the same next up we have the lizard series this is from hispano modding and it is for all platforms new tipper 55,000 liter capacity but we can go up to 255 thousand liters if you really want to and trust me you do that's more will brands bring us continental we also have trelleborg bkt michelin and nokia we also have radistan on there as well we do have some different setups for these so maybe just go through find the ones that you like there's a lot of options through there sticker brands we have lizard on the back then we have dimco flegel grona we have load king or nothing so you do have different types for your trailers that's pretty cool we have a load king trailer yeah man chassis color so here's all of your colors i'm just gonna go white for now so you can see it the color box itself that's gonna be all the way around and then the color sides let's change this up to maybe bright green so you can see that very cool now reflective color let's go with yellow this is going to be around the tires the top and then of course rim color is rim color may not be the most beautiful trailer you've ever seen but at least you can get an idea of what you can change next up we have the kilbro 1600 yes we have a new brand into the game kilbros from bc bueller farms and benny this is an older model grain cart that should serve any farm well especially an american farm 27,000 liter capacity we could bump that up to 31,300 or 35,300 if you guys want to let's go and bump all the way up will brands we do have a lizard setup we have michelin continental right of stun bkt midas and back in again as far as your warning triangles we have a center mount triangle We've got it on the right or nothing. Working lights, we do have some of those as well, which is very good to have. And then lastly, we have some colors. So we have the main color, which is quite literally everything, starting off as orange. Now it doesn't look like it is the same orange or is it well not quite but it's a little bit different and then we have the color for the extension we also have the color for the decals as well which is really cool a lot of customization for this trailer next up we have the michigan shed pack yes this is finally out now as well for all platforms we've got a bunch of stuff in here six different buildings so we have the bell barn we got a machine shed 
a massive machine shed workshop. We've also got the three bay barn and we have another machine shed at the other end. So let's just take a look at them and see exactly what we've got. So this is the first bit right here. He's actually taken this building and made object storage for it for his Frankenmuth 4X. Hopefully we see something like that for all platforms. Next up, we have a little bit of a different shed right here. We'll go and open this up. And I don't know if we've got to open both doors. We do not. So we could come in here. We can stack up some pallets, stuff like that. And then we've got another door here on the side. Very cool there. And both should open. And it's almost at the same time. Very cool there. Now for the biggest shed I might have ever seen. This thing is absolutely huge, dude. And we've got an opening at one end and another opening right here from the other. Very cool there. Coming over, we have what might be one of the most popular buildings that we've seen yet. Right through here. Oh yes, oh yes, it is here. Nothing around towards the side. So this whole area in here is just somewhere where you can go in, do whatever you need to do in there. Uh, and then we can go upstairs. There we go. And we got some areas up there. So very cool through that. That's probably gonna be the most popular one, I would assume. Now, we've got this one as well, the three bay. This is great for semi-trucks or making longer uh, longer setups. And then we do have an area up top as well. However, uh, I'm not quite sure we can actually reach that. So you might be able to utilize that for what you're doing, you may not. And then lastly, we've got this version. We've got a huge area right there huge area all the way down here and then we've got a smaller opening right through there these are going to be epic buildings for farm builds of course we've had them on taylor farms maps but now we have them for any map next up we have the pallet with used sacks now i could have sworn that we actually had this mod previously but this is a brand new mod and it is here for all platforms so we've got an oat bag wheat canola barley and just regular seeds in case you want to turn these seeds into these other things through the uh, harvesting feature in farm sim that sounded weird to say out loud but nonetheless you could buy either 50 liters or 150 liters next up we have the bond silage bulk tank if you guys need bulk for bond silage we've got it here from mac trucker 921 2000 liters of it and it is exactly what you think it is. It's bond silage. Yeah. Next up, we have the farm placeables pack. And again, just like the Michigan shed bag, there's a bunch of stuff in here. And actually this part down here at the end, I just needed a cattle area for the manure pit. So let's talk about it. We've got all kinds of stuff. So we've got a large shed like this, which is kind of cut out of stone. I really really am digging that that's super cool i don't know how that would work in real life but it's awesome in the game so we've got a couple different areas of that not really sure what you'd put in here maybe a forge harvester maybe a, a sugar cane harvester something like that well you've got it so you can do whatever you want it is yours we've got a lot of different areas where you can park stuff through there we've even got some open areas here for silage big silos we've got a brick silo right through here we've even got a big old slurry pit, yeah. And then, like I mentioned, we've got the big manure pit that comes along with this. Next, we have the Franconian farm buildings. And there's quite a few things here as well. So we have two sheds. We've got a house. We have a production silo. That's right, a production silo. We'll talk about that. And then we got a place for cattle and chicken. So let's just start off with a shed. Nothing too crazy about this, but it is old. It looks great. Very, very good. Then we've got a smaller one, which we can open up and we can park some smaller stuff in here like that. We've also got an area here on the right hand side. Whoa, those were fast. Like that. That didn't take too long at all, did it? Nope, not a bit. And then we can come over here. We have our house. Now the house actually has some areas that we can go around. So we've got an area there where we can change clothes. We've got an area right here where we can sleep and all the way around you can see visibly it looks good but it only has a uh, low area down there now we also have this guy right here this is the high silo this takes grass hay straw or chaff in and then will output uh silage which is very very interesting now, I don't have an area right there where it shows us, but you can see here, even straw silage. I, I, I mean, I've used straw silage as a modded thing 
myself because I was lazy, but like this actually does it. How cool is that, man? Uh, and it's really nice. 1,000 in, 1,000 out. You're not losing anything. 120 cycles per month and it's only $2 per month to do. This might be just the cheapest way to make silage and farming simulator as far as time goes. Then we've got a chicken coop right here. Uh, doesn't, uh, I don't remember where to, to get the chickens. Here we go. We'll go in here. Uh, do, do 360 chickens. So it is kind of neat. You can see right through there. They can go in the back and all the way through here. We've got doors that all open up. I mean, this is one heck of a setup. We also have a silo in here as well, which is really, really interesting. So the silo has got a capacity of 300 a uh, thousand liters so that is pretty cool and then we've got an area up here for storage or stuff like that how neat is that and then lastly we've got our cattle pasture over here place for milk of course two different doors through there and if we come around through here we've got 45 head of cattle so all the good stuff bam 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 it's all good. Next up, Legacy Ag has released their 55 by 115 meter post frame cold storage. Super, super cool area through here. Did I say 115 meter, 115 foot? Sorry, 84,900 bucks for this 50 bucks a day. He ain't messing around. It is a massive long shed and <laughs> It's a good looking building at that. Matches everything else he's done as well. So if you've got any legacy ag buildings, this is going to look great with them. Next, we have Landsberg Farm. And I thought this was going to be a map. So I do apologize. I was wrong. I was dead wrong. This is a house and it's also a cattle area as well. Funny enough. Did you know that? I just found out myself. Uh, let's go through here, see what we've got. So we've got the animal purchase area right here. 45 head of cattle. I think that's going to be another way out. Well, that just doesn't work. All right. Well, let's go up here. Wide staircase. I do love that. And then we've got plenty of room up here for hay, straw, silage bales, anything like that. Very, very cool. Not sure why it's glitching a little bit. My game's playing fine. That's all on OBS. Uh, plenty of areas, open areas. You got your slurry right through there. Milk is inside there as well. I mean, this is a pretty cool setup, dude. You can get lost in there for sure. The only thing is it's got this big area for the house. And, uh, and there's really nothing to that area. It's all here to the right. And you can't go up there. Which a little little irritating. I'd love I'd love for the house to have an interior. The shed looks great. Let's go in the house. Next up we have the shed large open. This is an 18 meter high and era uh, eight meter high, 18 meter wide area. Forty thousand dollars for this, ten bucks per day. None too bad, none too crazy. Just is what it is. Big open shelter. Next to last new one for all platforms. Today we have the ranch silos. We have two different setups here. We've got one that is all wooden, which looks great, by the way. And then we've got one that is stone and brick. Very cool, very cool. And your last new mod for all platforms today is the Brazilian water tank. Here you can hydrate your animals, water your greenhouses, among other things. At the end of the day, it is a water tank. Making our way over to mod updates for all platforms. New Mini Bruns got an update. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the same map that's in Farm Sim 23. This isn't, but the name almost is. So anyway, this is version 1.0.2 and it's huge. So a new save game is not mandatory. However, there are some things that are going to need Need a new save we'll talk about those at the very end so uh new things wheat and barley can now be planted in the spring two new cobblestones have been added as ground textures snow coloring has been added to the roads field grass can be fed to the chickens which includes an xml file for maize plus animal food add-on and cows now also eat silage now we have ambient sounds, less car horns in the background, and water noises at the pond have been reduced. Collectibles from the farm have been placed in other places. Fix the double background in winter. The ramps of the cow shed no longer float above the ground. Adjust the capacities of the cow shed. Adjusted straw ball trigger. I think it should be bell trigger in the cow shed. Corrected clear and paint areas of the cow barn. Problem solved where manure heap is not recognized by the cow shed. Add a grain swap at the grain mill and oil mill. Remove non-buyable objects from the shop. 
earth and dirt is now paintable when placing buildings. Let's jump back down again. Adjusted noises when walking over certain ground textures. Decoration barrels no longer tip over in the snow. Corrected visible settings for some objects. Added a bail trigger for wood chips at the farmer's market. Some cosmetic corrections. Spawn conditions for deer have been changed. Less deer in total. And they spawn now also on the field near trees. And new overview of the map. Now, you can also see we've got some things with one star. And we've got a bunch of things with two stars. One star says newly placed trees may pop up in areas where trees have already been felled. However, trees that have already been fallen should not reappear and also the two stars at the end only active in a new save game so the thing with the trees is tree stock has been revised they've redone the trees on the map now these are things that need a new save game by default the lanterns at the farm are now placed in the variant without shadows cow shed moved one meter to the north straightened uneven surface in the terrain in several places fix problems with the helper when mowing field 14 revised eastern border of field 14 so there's no more gaps in the swath when mowing change border stones switch to the mod the old curbs can still be sold but no longer placed and border stone near the cow pen can now be sold holy cow that's a big update next we have an update to prairie farm michigan version 1.1 new save not required they've updated the barns to fix collisions door separation and snow mask added tree light decoration fix shader issue with the cat or cat cattails yeah cattails in winter added repaint option and wood or workshop shop and removed multiple materials in the same node issues your next update also no new save game required east vineland new jersey usa version 1.2.0.3 updated environmental lighting with relight version 1300 by suck sneak we also have fixed missing cpu flag error with the sunflower oil palace fix missing store item error for the pig food bins rearrange the chicken feeding schedule to include scratch grains as a power food and added an additional production scratch grains mixer found in the productions tab next the br163 ms version 1001 added modified calendar fixed an issue with cutting grass slightly adjusted the lizard transport point of sale price Fix the canned food factory that did not accept water. Added a new selling point for stones. Added five new products. We have carrots, cabbage, watermelon. Those are all going to be in greenhouses. And we also have soy milk for the canning factory and in pallets. Also added production for pallets at the sawmill. Added a pallet factory. Now pallets are needed in productions and pallets can be bought in the shop and some minor texture tweaks. Next up, Umbrian Valley version 1.004. Added farmhouse with sleep trigger with change starting point. Added new hardwood and pine trees. Added container sale point at three wood sale points. Added signs to show container sale points. Added fences, fuel tanks, and sheds that can be sold in the game. Added production buildings to the town that can also be sold in the game. Fixed minor bugs and glitches, and a new save is required. And your last mod update, at least, well, map update anyway. We got some more ones for you guys. Pyramid 22, version 1.001. .01. Fixed multiplayer crashing and pig and horse icons now appear in farm manager now we also have some regular mod updates first is the buildings of norway from ola haldor version 1.0.2 Two added vol farm barn, added uh, another farm barn, and added more temporary farm buildings. Your next to last update for all platforms is the half timbered farm buildings version 1.001. .01. Added bald with farmland attribute to all buildings, updated mod description version, and fixed the leveling issue with the main building. And your last update finally, the American Cardboard version 1.001. .001. New textures and colorable. And your last mod today, we have an update to Rittenboo. From Ola Holador. It was actually a community spotlight yesterday. It was awesome. You should go check that out if you haven't seen it. Nonetheless, this is version 1.0.2 of the map. These changes require a new save game. Various terrain and foliage fixes. Change the tree uh, at that area right there. Should now be possible to cut if desired. Debris crushers are now placeables and can be owned and sold by the player. 
enabled all temp placeables outlined and planned for now. They will appear as building sites until the building pack is updated with proper functioning buildings. And as you guys saw, I do believe that updated today. Also, custom dirt road mesh in various places, mainly for forestry roads, forklifts, and telehandlers at the shop, sawmill, grain mill, and carpentry are free to use and no need to bring your own. Prepare the farmland for multiple new farms, adjusted prices of farmlands, and added an iron mine. Now, we also have some performance improvements, reduce the number of trees, improve the terrain a clear cash. And finally, some fixes. Olive oil is now shown on the price table. Corn is possible to grow. Not realistic, but added again for requests. Optimize the terrain alongside forestry and dirt roads. Fix traffic congestion at two intersections. Updated the farmlands to adhere to the new feature where farmland IDs are shown on the map. Increase the spawn area for the sawmill. It can now spawn up to six stacks of planks or beams at a time. That's pretty good. Added support for the platinum DLC at the sawmill. Products, product, products, products, products. There we go. What word is that? <laughs> will spawn in separate locations and remove the stank timber placing boards. The default boards are back to better differentiate the boards and the platinum DLC wood beams. Goodness gracious, what an update. Well, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new and join the Go Ham fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Speaking of those daily videos, we already dropped farm some news. We talked about an Axle Flow USA version coming from custom modding, as well as JHHG modding's updated S-series combines. You definitely don't want to miss it. All that said, hope you have a great day. See you later.